Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are going to be continuing our Darwinian campaign in Divide and Conquer version 5. And yes, we've done okay last episode. We finally destroyed Rune, which was very nice. Then we had to beat back their foolish uh, rebel troops that tried to come after us as well, which was pretty darn, uh, pretty darn hard, to be honest. So... Yeah, we are coming forward with a few more armies, hopefully, very soon. Uh, and we're going to actually send you up to Viltor. And then we're going to have another guy next turn who we're going to send to Elanin. Hopefully boost up the income in both of those regions. We're sieging down Beralga. And we're getting sieged down in Avalyn's Rest and Austin Eri. Uh, which is quite annoying, honestly. Mordor has been just really annoying. <laughs> Same as Dolgador. This... This front is terrible. It is terrible, this front. Really bad. So wide and so open that it's really hard to just, you know, attack somewhere while you get attacked somewhere else and, and try and, you know, put a choke point in somewhere. So that's why we need three armies on this front. Now, down here, I wholly expect us to have to scum this battle. And I'm willing to do it because we've got Athel here as the general, and I really don't want him to die. I don't think we can beat them in a one-on-one -on -one fight. So I think we're going to have to try and destroy their siege equipment and absolutely just scum this as a save. So I guess we'll uh, we'll find out, guys. But I will press the end turn now. Let's see what happens. Oh, we've got you moving. Oh, yeah, we were attacking that ship as well. So let's get rid of that. Nice. Finally, free of the... the uh, Darn rune ships, the last stragglers that survive in our lands. So I'm glad we've managed to get rid of them. Um, looking at the map, though, it looks like Dale has actually been cooked a little bit by the elves of the Woodland Realm. So that's a bit annoying because that means they've really got no one to attack apart from us, potentially, and potentially the orcs of Gundabad if they are bordering them at somewhere. But yeah, looking at this army, it's just too much volume. 2,500 versus 800. I just don't think we're going to be able to, to beat that in a one-on-one -on -one fight at all. So yeah, we just don't have the infantry to beat them. I know they are bloody orcs, orcses, but just the volume of them is just going to be too much. So two things we need to do is kill their general... And secondly, destroy all their siege equipment so that the AI is dumb and doesn't actually attack. <laughs> I think that's that's probably the, the greater option there. And I know it's scummy, but I'm willing to do it to save Athelhir's life. Athelhir, I am willing. I am on bended knee, my friend, to uh, embarrass myself to save you. That is how much I care about you. So you better be grateful, Athelhir, and win this battle. I will see you there, guys. Here we are, guys. Here we are. And um, pretty much... We're going to go straight at them with the cavalry. We're going to get... We get them both? No, I don't think... Ideally, we'll have you guys. Actually, we'll have... If you guys could get on here would be great, but I doubt you can. So, get you guys there ready to fire into the enemy. Get these guys here kind of firing on the angle, which will be good. So let's group all you boys together. We need more archers, really, in this army. But we've got men coming. And we're going to have all our cavalry just milling around here, ready to get out. Group you up together as well. And we'll get the men of the thorn. Well, these guys, will have to move them when we get to the actual battle. So let's start. Let's pause for a second and see what they're doing. Yeah, I think you guys go straight after the ram. You guys go after the Moran and guard. You guys go after that one. And let's see what they do. I'm hoping we can stop them using both of their rams. And then just literally just scum it. Uh, to try and win. I know, it's, I know it is very scummy doing this. But at the same time, it's necessary to protect what we have. So, yeah. I'm happy to do it. Happy to scum. Once in a while. Once in a while, I'm happy to scum. Not all the time. But once in a while. Guys, what is this? What is this pathing path here? It is terrible. What is this? Well, don't worry about them for now. 
Get straight up to there. They've gone... So if they can just touch this guy on the ramp. Now, you guys out. Let's go after the ram this time. You guys have come there. Let's get out. Let's go straight for the ram so it stops them. There we are. Hopefully, don't pick anything else up. So what I'm going to do is get you guys over this way so they're not getting shot too much. Where's my other cavalry? Oh, they've gone. They've run away. So let's run all the way over here and see what they do. Yeah, hopefully this privateer cavalry doesn't get fully destroyed. Oh, they've gone back to the ram. Picked up the ram again. Hmm. Not ideal, honestly. So let's try and come round and then hit the ram again. It's only got 10% damage right now. It would be nice if it got destroyed. We do have ballista towers in this settlement. That's obviously quite good. Let's go straight back into the ram there. Bang. Straight back in. Hopefully stop them this time. And let's get out again. Oh, we are getting shredded by their darn arrows. So, let's see what they do now. Where's the other ram? Okay, the Uruk bodyguards got hold of the other ram. And they're doing the siege tower this time. I don't think the siege tower... Let's just pop into them to stop the siege tower. Now, let's come through. Let's come through. Go, go, go. Run, guys, run. And let's go attack this ram. And let's see whether they uh, they bug out or not. <laughs> I don't know. This is really... Oh, Jesus Christ. We really don't want to have to fight these guys. So what I'm thinking is we get our cavalry here and we'll run out when the ram gets close. Swordmasters. Oh, you can actually fit there. So I don't know. Why is it struggling with this side so much? Really doesn't like that side, does it? These guys should be firing away. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll charge out when they get close. Get close to the gate. Get really close. Because we need to destroy this ram. If we could kill that general right now, that'd be great. As soon as he's past the men, I think that's when we go for it. You guys. Oh, they've actually come with the ladders. Wow. I was not expecting that. You guys get there. It is only a Moran and Guard. So when this ram gets close, we'll charge out and try and kill the goddamn fools over there. Yeah, you guys fight the Moran and Guard. You should be able to beat them quite handily. Of course. <gasps> that ram's been destroyed. Yes, boys. Come on. The gate's not open yet, is it? Okay, that means they're all going to go for the ladders. <laughs> Which isn't fantastic, really. Um, right, well, let's get let's get our elves up on the walls over this side to fight them in the back. Uh, where's our other archers? They're over here. I think you should fire at the Lokinas Rim. You guys should fire at that Moranin Guard. Uh, you guys need to get up here ASAP. So, which way are you going to go for that? Going to run that way. Because ideally, we don't want Athel here to be dragged into this fight. Kind of wanting him more to be there. Get round a little bit. Look at them all streaming for this now. Good thing about this is that the Ballista Towers can fire sideways. And they're going to be firing quite nicely sideways at them. I don't know why they've all stopped now. Classic AI. Right, you guys get up there. If you will get up. Yeah, that'd be great. And then what we'll do is we'll have the Thorn Guard here. And we'll have these boys come around this way. Depending what happens. What are the AI? The AI have just, like, decided that, nah. We don't really want to fight anymore. Let's get leadership in. Fire at the Moranin Guard down here. And these guys should come all the way around the back and start fighting them. Why do you have to fire up in an arc, guys? Come on. What? Just run around the back of them. <laughs> They're really struggling with that, aren't they? Um, I, yeah. 
I think we have sufficiently scummed it here. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> sufficiently scummed it is the words I'm going to use right now. Um, <laughs> these poor guys. If they could fire their javi, maybe fire their javis down there. That would be great. Just kill as many as you can. We don't want them to, you know, fight with loads of javis left, do we? Yeah, now these guys can fight. You guys can fire. You guys still firing at the Loke in Ass Rim, are you? Let's fire at the Southron Lancers. Let's have a bit of a go at them. And yeah, let's speed it up. Let's see what happens. I'm assuming they're just going to be dumb and just stay there and do nothing. She's not great, uh, but it is sufficiently scummy, isn't it? Where are you going? Yeah, we should fully destroy this man and guard pretty easily. But guys, I think I'll, you know, edit it down from here so you guys can don't need to watch this scumminess going on. And it's just going to be a grind while they kill all these Moran and guards down here anyway. Uh, so yeah, I will see you in a little bit, guys. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Um, um, on, honestly, guys, look at this. This was not done by the Ballista Towers. Some of it was. But I moved my Thorn Guard up onto the walls. And instantly, half of the army... Like, like, most of the army just, just died instantaneously. Like, look at this! All these guys who were stood down here, you'll see a clip of it. Was it the ladders falling? What? And they've all just died now as well. Oh, I have no idea what has happened there. That has to be a glitch. All these guys stood out here died as well. I know I was scumming it, but I didn't want to scum it this much. It says only 68% still, but I feel like it's more than that with all those guys dead. So the game isn't even registering it. Um, That's very strange. I have never seen that glitch before in my life. And... That's so weird. Well, I will see you at the end of the battle, guys. I don't know whether at the end of the battle these guys will be counted as dead anyway. They might not be. You never know. But if they are, that surely will be enough to fully destroy these guys. Are they still firing on the walls? No, it's firing off the walls. So, yeah, I don't know what's just happened. I have never seen that before, ever. So, new glitch, I guess. I've never seen that. But I will see you at the end of the battle, guys. Well, that battle has come to an end. Rather a dismal, dismal end. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I just don't know what, what happened there. That was so weird. I've never seen that before. But, you know, a victory is a victory no matter how scummy. Um... <laughs> I guess. But we've got reinforcements coming soon, so I'll see you there, guys. Here we are, guys. And of course, we are going to execute those troops. Very, very weird, weird battle. Weird scenes going on down in Mordor as thousands of orcs just simultaneously have some sort of heart attack. Um, Wow. This... This is not something I expected, honestly. I did not expect them to be very good troops that they had here. And Austin Erie. Ooh. Mordor is coming back with a vengeance. We really need to get our war machine going and get our armies over there as quick as possible. Otherwise, we are going to be just taking losses to Mordor here and there, everywhere. Varfest needs to go. That's part of it. That's why they're attacking Austin Erie. But from there, they could really go anywhere they wanted, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, th there's no chance we win this 
uh, if they manage to get that ram to the gates. So, yeah, let's fight it, but I doubt we win this if they get the ram to the gates. Maybe the ram will burn. We'll, we'll see. Here we are, guys. So let's start our deployment. Unfortunately, it is a wooden walled city. So this is going to be tough in terms of getting our, you know, getting the fire that we want. What I'm thinking is if we get, you know, our guys around here somewhere, they, if they'll fit, come on, pathing, don't be a dickhead. There we are. And we get these guys here, pathing. There we are. I'm hoping, you know, we can fire on them um, and hopefully destroy the ram. That is our only chance. So let's hope that that ram gets destroyed, gets burnt. But it's not going to get burnt if they keep missing, is it? Jesus, they are inaccurate. Come on, one hit. Come on, boys. Another hit. Let's go. More hits. Let's go. Burn them. Burn that ram to the ground. It's not going to work, is it? Well, we're going to have to take a loss here. I mean, it's fair enough after we absolutely scummed our way into victory before. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah there's not much we can really do. They're going to have a Loki in Rim coming as well. Luckily, we, do, we have killed a few of the Sauron's will. So, just want to try and do as much damage as we can, of course, to this dirty army. This foul army. From the orcs. But here come the Loki Nasrim, and that's really going to spell the end for us. There's not much we're going to be able to do against those boys. I mean, Spearmen should be good against them, but yeah, they've got Loki Gamprim as well, which, of course, is a very, very, very good army. Why do my banners. Why are my banners off? I mean, our banners, banners are normally off, aren't they? So maybe that's it. I. I Trying to remember, maybe I'm just thinking wrongly. If the Lokinas rim go around there, that's fine. I don't know what the the Gamprim are doing. The Sauron's will look like they've been kind of destroyed a little bit, but we are just taking so much damage. If we can try and get around them, though, let's go and kill them. We don't want to just fight them in the front because of their fantastic uh, formation. Let's get off that now. Yeah, we're we're just we're just getting shredded, aren't we? I mean, if we kill the general though, that'll be quite a good outcome for us, I think. And we've done quite a bit of damage. It's not like we've done nothing. Let's rally the men, keep them happy. Now the Inasrim are in though, and I think that's going to spell the end, unless that general falls. But I can't remember which one he is. I'm assuming he is the Gamprim because they were the last people to come in. But there's only seven of the Gamprim left. Where would the general be? Only four left. I mean, we could, we could, we could beat them back. We just got to kill that general wherever he is. Well, is he a Loki in Asrim though? It doesn't look like it. I don't see any generals. In there. Oh, no. That's our general dying. Now, we need to kill their general. <laughs> but oh, we're just not going to be able to, are we? Where is their general? I don't know who he was. Oh, we nearly won. But, yeah. Brutal. Brutal. I mean, it's fair enough. If we'd scummed another battle, I'd feel kind of bad. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, and we have died, unfortunately. Very close to winning. So they don't have much in there in Austin Airy. And unfortunately, it's one of the ones that we have pretty nice coverage. But Mordor has come back with a bit of a vengeance. Ah, okay. Now, this is a good old battle. Who is the person that's attacked us? Captain Gordush. So that's where they're going to be coming from. Now, Ugduf and Ulairon. So we have Ulairon here, who actually has, I believe, yeah, Camel's Shadow Rangers. That's not an amazing army. And that's definitely not an amazing army. Gordush, he has Ballista. But that, again, is not amazing. So I'm hoping, this will be a brutal battle. But I'm hoping we can win. 
Edward in, of course, the glorious man, Edward in. Uh, but what we're going to do, we'll probably retreat to the back and the middle of the map uh, and let these guys come in and try and beat them one by one. Uh, because we can't face him while we've got two guys coming from the flank. So we will see, guys. I'll see you there. Hi, guys. We are back here. And I think the best option for us is to take this little mound. It's not much of a hill, but it is a hill nonetheless. And we're going to keep the Moriquendis in the middle. We'll keep these boys either side of them because we know how good they are. Uh, we'll have our elves in the middle there as well. And the Darwinian infantry down this flank with maybe... Uh, no, we'll, I think the right flank is going to take a bit more damage. So we'll go with the, the bladesmen there. And we'll have the Darwinian swordmasters on this flank here. And we'll have our elven Avari warriors on the other flank, ready to flank them completely. Now, remember, our cavalry is going to be pretty nice in this battle. This is going to really weaken uh, these guys completely. So that would be nice. Um, let's get all you boys grouped up so we know what we're doing. You guys group up as well. Swordmasters grouped up. Oh, we've actually missed one of these boys. No, we haven't. You're just not part of this group. Uh, right then. And then the rest of our archers and all that sort of thing, they're going to start in front and then come down the hill as we go. We've got some very, very good archers, remember. That should be nice. And then the Avari Naharim will get them going to deal with the enemy straight away. Uh, let's have a look. Who do we want to deal with? Who's probably a bit better? Maybe the Wargs, because I want cavalry supremacy. They've got two Wargs on that army. How many wargs? Just one warg on that one. And then this one, we do have a couple of wargs as well. Remember, I think only one of them actually has a general. So we've got to remember that. Um, so I'm kind of going to go in the middle of these two armies and go for the wargs on this side. This is going to be a massive, massive battle. Don't want to get shot by their archers. Don't want to take any free... I uh, don't want to take any casualties from them for no reason. So let's get uh, around this way. We have taken a couple of casualties. Bit dumb of us. But yeah, let's shoot at the wargs if we can. How close is this army? Quite far away. So yeah, let's just try and get rid of the wargs. Um, and then we've got these wargs in here as well. Nice, 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 nice. Looking good. We are doing a lot of damage. The Avari Naharim, of course, are a great unit. Where's the Ballista? Ah, oh, that's what we're that's what we're dying to. So let's keep moving. We don't want to get hit by the Ballista, do we? And and in fact, you know, we'll keep moving and then we'll keep trying to fire at the Ballista as well. Uh, trying to we'll charge the Ballista when we've run out of uh, run out of our ammo. We should be very soon firing down the hill. We are good. Firing at Mirkwood Hunters, though. Not exactly great <laughs> targets for our fire. Oof. So that. That was not a good... Uh, not a good... Not a good... Oh, these Ballista Fires are not good. So let's go straight after them. Just got to be careful of the Wargs there. Got to be careful of the Wargs. Here we go. Bang. Straight in. Straight in. Nice. If we can break them. Now, let's get out. Let's get out. It's stopping them firing, uh, fighting the... So, yeah. If we can break these ballista, that'd be great. Very much in our favor. Victory will I be don't up. think they're going to be too bad uh, for much of the rest of the battle. So, again, we don't need to worry about them too much. Here come all the men. So, let's get our archers and crossbowmen... Back up the hill. And the Avari Naharim. Yeah, let's make sure we're firing on the Warg Marauders. And let's keep running away. I believe this is where their general is. There he is. Unless that's just an officer. But I think that is a general. So it would be nice if we could take out that general first. Before they even get to our army. That would be fantastic. They're going to try and look to flank us a little bit. As we can see. 
Um, but that's all right. It's not too bad. Uh, we're just going to have to stay strong on this left-hand flank. Where are you now? Yeah, that is their general, the Wargs. So let's keep going after them. If we can kill that general, like I said, that's going to be fantastic. Olyron over here. He's going to take his time coming into the battle. What an epic battle this is going to be. So let's keep firing. The left-hand flank is where the general is, so we've got to remember that. But yeah, I really do want cavalry supremacy. Looks like they're about to get into the fight. Um, or the marauders here. Here come the warg marauders. They're going to go right into the Moriquendi uh, guys, which is a bit crazy of them. Or into the shield wall. That's uh, Sorry, the spear wall. It's never a really good idea, is it? Um, so let's keep coming forward. Getting rid of these Wag Marauders. I reckon we can beat them one-on-one. -on -one. So let's have a go at that as the rest of the fighting carries on. We've got our Mirkwood Hunters firing on us. We are, we've killed one of the generals already. Um, I believe that is a general from this, this army. So that would be quite nice. All right, let's go after the Wag Marauders. And oof, our lines have kind of split now. Not fantastic. So let's fire into there. Uh, what do we have around here as well? I think we don't worry about Olyron too much. Let's come forward and try. Come on, guys. You're so honestly... How they move sometimes in this mod... Like, in this game, sorry, should I say. Just really pisses me off. Like, just speed up a bit. Just speed up. There we are. That's better. Now they're wavering. Let's kill them. How are the Avari Naharim doing? They're absolutely shredding the Warg, Warg Marauders. So let's go. I kind of feel like in terms of our main line, we need to wait a little bit. All these guys are going to rout. Um, yeah, you guys need to come forward. What I need to do is get, say, you guys over this side to go and kill uh, the, the archers because they're pissing me off. Kill these Warg Marauders. They're going to be pointless. So that's two generals. That's good. So that's just not Ulyron's general. It's everyone else's. Right, who is that? Dolgador Host. We don't want to worry about them. So let's get out. Um, Edward in and all your sort of side. You're all doing well. Good. Uh, right, let's come forward. These guys are all routing. Where's this? Let's get in there. Let's actually go chase down some of these guys so we can kill as many as possible. Let's keep coming forward, boys, and let's surround this side. You guys can get in there. You guys can come around. So let's go chasing down some of these men. Actually, you guys should go fight these Mirkwood goblins. You guys need to go after the Orc Maulers there. That would be better than what you're currently doing. Here come some Wargs. Let's get Edward in there. So that's going to be quite a big charge, but let's fire at them. Fire at the Dolgador host. You guys fire there too. Mirkwood goblins. You guys fire at the host. Uh, looks like we've kind of beaten back quite a lot of the uh, the men. You guys are chasing these boys down like we've seen previously. Let's get them. And you fight the Mirkwood goblins. You fight those orc fighters. Let's have a look at what we're doing in terms of everything else. Rally, where is Edward in? He is here fighting the warg marauders. Let's get out, my friend. Let's do another charge. We can leave these boys in to fight them for a little bit, and then we'll charge them again. So, yeah, this is mainly about killing Ulyron now. Uh, yeah, that's just a Dolgador host. That's not going to do anything. So let's go fight them. What do we have over here? Yeah, we're a bit squished. Who are you? You're going to go fight them. You fight them. Let's kill these Orc Maulers. Then we can charge these Mirkwood Goblins. So, like, kill as many of them as you can. And the Orc Fighters as well. And Edward in, my friend. Let's get around. Looks like we've pushed them back slightly. There's some more war Marauders there. You guys are fighting there. That's fine. Got to just be careful of not losing too many of our men to this. 
Uh, Dolgador host fight them. We've beaten back everyone on this flank really now. Where are you guys? Go fight those orc fighters. You guys, let's bring you across this way. Let's go that way. Uh, so the main army, it doesn't really matter too much if the main army that faced us doesn't die fully. It's more sort of the other side armies. I don't think it was Ulyron, so it's more of that side's army needs to get destroyed, but where's Edward in now? Go kill them. You guys go kill them as well. Edward in should get a good charge off here, and let's rally the men while we do it, so he doesn't die. Why are only half of you charged? This is what I mean. Come on. Stop being stupid. You guys have killed loads of them. Let's go kill the Dolgador host. Wow, where is their gen... Oh, come all Shadow Rangers. Let's uh, let's get the elves into them. They should be a lot better in melee. You guys get there. Where are you? You guys get there as well. You guys get there. You guys get that on. We'll come around to the Shadow Rangers. Are you fighting someone still? You're fighting... Mirkwood goblins. Right, well, you guys chase those Mirkwood goblins. Where is that cavalry unit? He is here. So, let's go chase some of these guys down. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's get them all routed. Then we can chase them down. Let's charge into Camel Shadow Guard and hopefully we can kill Ulyron. Let's fire it there for now. Orc Maulers still. We've got some of them around. Uh, let's see if we can break them with a charge. Bang. Straight in there. Charge. Bang. How are we done against the Shadow Guard? Pretty good. Pretty good. And what I'm going to do, you're going to chase them down. Edwardin's the one who's going to keep on fighting. Uh, is there anyone else to fight? Yeah, the Ballista. So let's go fight them. Let's get you guys. You guys chasing down the Marauders. Have we got anyone else up here? No. Pretty good battle. Pretty good battle. Done a lot of damage to them. Camel Shadow Rangers are running. They are running from the battlefield in, in terror. In terror, my friend. Not what I expected. Now it just looks like the Ballista that are the ones. Oh, War Marauders have come back. Good, good. Very nice of them to do so. Gives us more of an opportunity to kill them. Let's go all the way over there. You guys kill this Camel Shadow Guard. There we are. Ulyron is now dead. That's one of their uh, generals. One of their uh, um, one of their generals that are free. Sorry, not free. What do you call them? I can't remember. How many have we killed? 91%. I think it's worth just, just making sure by charging down as many men as we can. You guys have stopped. Where's the nearest guys to charge down? Probably these boys. You've probably stopped now, haven't you? Let's go after the ballista over here if we can. Uh, so let's speed it up. And let's see where, where we get to. So Mirkwood Goblins. There's still 36 of them. So a good one to charge down. Oh, there's not going to be many left now, is there? Now we can go after the Ballista. Edwardin, you go after this Ballista. And hopefully that will be enough to have killed everyone. Where are you guys? So you go over here somewhere. There's a single guy. <laughs> Poor guys. Well, we did lose a few men looking at our army. It's a bit damaged, isn't it? But it's not horrendous. We can still push on a little bit more before looking for retraining. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll keep on going. Uh, oh, Orc Fighters there as well. You guys get after them. Same with you. Let's go. Nice. Oh, we've just shredded them. I don't know whether there's anyone else. This single guy by himself. <laughs> Looks like he's going to get caught. There we are. Good. Fantastic. Glorious battle. Oh, my God. 
Oh, my days. 3,200. We killed more than double the amount of men we deployed. Wow. Sentinels, 296. Avari Shadows, 294. 367 by the Moriquendi Protectors. That is obscene. Nice. Avari Warriors, 288. Fantastic. Some glorious um, kills coming in from our elves there. Coming in absolutely ham. Nice. I will see you back on the campaign map. So Oliron got captured along with a lot of men. 7,500 worth of men. The ballista's actually worth a lot of money. Um, but yeah, no. No mercy for Dolgador scam. No mercy whatsoever. So yeah, I think this army, honestly, will just take it until it's pretty much dead. Uh, because we've got such strong troops in here, I'm pretty confident with how much we can do with this army. This place also has a port. It's already making 1,198. That is a fantastic, fantastic amount of cash. Um, in terms of down here, it doesn't look like the orcs are going to come back for a little bit. So we've got some time to get some more men in here. We'll keep the Avaris. These guys definitely need retraining and... Might as well send the Swordmasters as well. I know it's a bit of a laborious process doing this. But we have a pretty nice army now with a lot of elves in it as well. So that's pretty good. Um, Avalon's Rest is actually quite rich as well, which is good. Viltor got the uh, uh, that rebuilt, which is good. Recruitment. Karasant, we got the High Paladins. So we've got another general. And I'm wondering where we want to send them. Uh, we got one in Buramarikas, we do. We don't in Enmahath, so let's go for Enmahath or Mataram. Both are, both are quite rich, so we'll go for Mataram. It's just got a little bit extra cash. Uh, Harold, unfortunately, has died. We do know that. So in terms of this over here, we got everyone that we wanted to be retrained. Retrained, we have. Strondost, how are we doing for training? think it's definitely worth training a couple of these boys while we can. Uh, Karasant, we are building that. We will build the Avari Barracks next as well. I think it's always good to have a couple of Thorn Guard. They have been very, very good for us, haven't they? They've been fantastic for us. Mornathel is going to start becoming a recruitment hub as well. So, unfortunately, although Rawberg, you know, you isn't fully, uh, isn't ours. So, we've got a bit of a gap between... Uh, where we are. So let's move around a little yes. bit. I want just to get as far. Oh, we can't quite get all the way back to Buralga, but I wanted to just stick that in there while we could. So it looks like the elves have this region here. What's it called? Erin Dolan. Uh, but Erin Runan is owned by Dolgador. So they could come and attack from there. They've also got Trusture or Brown Boat down here. And a fort there. So yeah, I think the next next move for us is to go Erin Runen. Uh, or do we go back to Rawberg? I'd prefer not to go back to Rawberg if possible. Would be nice if you got actually in the city, Edwardin, but I don't think we'll get attacked after that. Absolute destruction. <laughs> That we just met upon them there. Right, let's uh, see what we can build then. Where are the ships? Yeah, let's get the ships in the port. Would be nice if we were trading trading all the way up the river. We can see Karasant is making some serious cash. Let's have a look at what we can uh, what we can build. So Naburka, nothing to build probably. I mean, I could build the leather tanner, just get that extra bit of cash. Per turn, but we're building in a lot of places. Lest could go for the ship, right? Um, let's go for the Master Mason's Hall for now. And when Tyrion Yar, let's also go for the Mason's Hall. Rubar, let's go for nothing right now. 
But Vilta, let's go for the meeting hall, probably. Ilanin, let's go for the Master Masons Hall there as well. Dorthalu, let's go for the trading post. Avalyn's Rest, I want something really cheap. Uh, so I'm assuming, yeah, the next blacksmith is the armorer, which is pretty good. So let's go for the trading post, and then Bert Alga, we do actually have the ability to get the standing stones in here. Oh, let's have a look at what we can get rid of here. Got the carpenter's hut, which is pretty nice. We don't need the practice range. Slave quarters is quite good. We'll keep that. Camp guard, we don't really need that. Same with the warg breeders. Ballista maker, we do kind of want. Hunting hut there, that's fine. Leather tanner and the brawler's pit, we don't need that either. So we've got saved ourselves a bit of money. So can we actually now build, for the first time since the very start, in every single place? I think I think we can. Let's get the herbalist then in uh, rhubarb. Very nice indeed. Glorious. Well, we can build everywhere now, guys, which is really nice to see. Got our armies coming down to Avalyn's Rest. It wasn't quite unlucky number 13, was it? I mean, it was close to being. We did lose Austin Eri, and we do need to get after them ASAP. So once these guys have had their retraining next turn, we will send our men down here. And I don't think we need to retrain anyone else. That's fine. Uh, but good. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.